Alright, as you guys saw from the intro, I'm going to be trying at least to play Diddy Kong Racing on an emulator for the 64. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and kick the banjo, probably because I'm a huge fan of Achievement Hunter and I really like Michael, and he's really made me like banjo Kazooie, and I don't know why. I don't think I ever played any of those games, but I did have this one for the 64, still have it sitting in a box somewhere. But I can't record on Nintendo 64, but I figured out a way to do it on this, so that's what we're going to go with. Yes, thank you for the warning, we're using controller packs, I don't have a controller pack. So we're going to try the adventure mode, I, as you can see I started in one game just to make sure the emulator worked, and now I'm going to start a brand new one. Um, I may be skipping cutscenes, I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go along, this is all new to me. Oh, it wants my initials. This would be a lot easier if I had a gamepad, wouldn't it? I'm sure that's what everyone on the internet is finding. But at the moment, I only have a keyboard. And the emulator won't work with the racing wheel I've got. Otherwise, that would be really cool, right? If I remember this game correctly, most of the story is actually in the manual that comes with the game. But I'm not going to sit here and read that to you guys. If you want the story of the game, I suppose you could probably find it on Wikipedia or Google. I don't know. It's the internet. You can find anything you're looking for, right? Even if it's messed up and you shouldn't be looking for it. I always forget how colorful these old Nintendo 64 games were. A whole lot better than it is now with all these kind of gray games that all start looking the same. Oh good, I have subtitles on. Really, really pixelated subtitles. Maybe I should have put it at a higher resolution. I don't know if this machine will handle it. After all, it is a piece of garbage. I'm surprised it runs an emulator. Okay. As I said before, I'm using a keyboard, so the controls are going to be really jerky and look pretty stupid. But that might be some reason why the graphics are terrible. All right. Well, there's that first golden balloon. I'm, if I remember correctly, I'm supposed to collect these for some odd reason. I think the races I can enter are set by how many balloons I have. I think it's, you know, similar to that Mario 64 thing, if I remember that game correctly. I haven't played that in ages either, but you had to get a certain number of uh, stars to get through each door. And I don't remember how to get a boost start on this either. But I did this first year that wasn't too hard. I beat the AI without trying. Shouldn't be a huge surprise that you can beat the AI without trying, though, on the first few levels. Huh? If I was getting my ass kicked by the AI, I'd be a little worried. You know, this is one of those games real similar to Mario Kart, but the uh, way the items work on this is kind of different. Um, you kind of chain them together, so here when I get the third red balloon, now I've got ten of the missiles instead of one or one homing missile. I think the LEGO Racer game, which I also had, and have the ROM for, did something similar, but I haven't played much of that in a long time. I mean, last time I had a Nintendo 64 running was maybe six to eight years ago, so... It's been a long time. Oh, I didn't notice that key yesterday. Maybe I should play the race again after I win it and see if I get something for that. The other thing that set this game apart from Mario Kart is you do a uh, what was it, hovercraft and plane. God damn that dinosaur. Right in the military, you do planes and hovercrafts as well as the carts, which, you know, Mario Kart I think only recently started doing. I haven't played the last couple because I don't I don't who plays the Wii anymore, I mean right? I got an Xbox, stop playing my Wii, that and it's, you know, it's not an HD console, but it looks terrible on my TV, it's not fun to play. I only have like three games to play, but you know, I haven't played the newest Mario Kart for the 3DS. I'll probably get it. I know it's good, but I don't think I've ever played a Mario Kart I hated. In fact, I think Mario Kart may have been the first console game I ever played, so it's not like that's a game I'm unfamiliar with. Man, these controls are terrible sometimes. All right, I'm going to go back and do that again and see what happens like. If I can even get that key, I may have to... I may have to unlock the plane to get to that. Let's... No, that's not a ramp. I should be able to get that, right? I don't know if I can win the race when I get it, but I'm sure it does something important. Let's see. I'm trying to remember how to get the boost on it. I think it's... 
Nope, that wasn't it. Alright. Let's try to get this in the first lap. Yeah, that's a wall. Okay. Um, let's see, which one of these? Are? There we go. Yep, space bar. There we go. I'll try it the next lap. I really want to do it the first lap so I can still win the race. Because I really, like I said, I've been a long time since I played this game. I don't know if I have to win the race when I get that key. And I think when I played this on the 64, I had a pre owned copy that the guy before me had already beaten the game, so everything was unlocked for me from the start. I know, it takes all the damn fun out of the game. Okay, let's get this key. Okay, I got a key now. I don't know what it does. I'll figure it out. Man, real professional here. I did all my research, right? Now, for all I know, the recording is broken and the sound is off. But, hey, I hit a guy. I don't even remember half names of these characters. I remember, I think I used to play as Timber, but I never, like, I didn't know who any of these characters were when I first had this game. I mean, I, had, I knew who Diddy Kong was, obviously, because I played a Donkey Kong game in my life. But, you know, I didn't... I think, if I remember correctly, this is the first game that had Banjo in it. They were using this to introduce a bunch of these characters. All oh, got him. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully I didn't have to win to use the key. Uh, that would be brutal, right? I don't think you guys want to watch me do the same race eight times. Let's see, I have to put something here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, 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 I was third. We all know. Turn the lobby, I guess. Um, I, okay, yes, the key did something. Oh, it opens a door. Shocking. That did not go in the door. In fact, that lock is painted on. I'm fairly certain of it. And they're not going to show me where that door is. Okay. Well, I guess I just have to go on to the next race. Can you do that? Yeah, you can do that. I wish I could look up. I'm sure somebody's going to tell me something that I should already know. Like, the controls for the game. I should have read through the game manual before I started this. But let's, let's call it amateur hour. All right, next race. Oh, there we go, okay. I don't really know what I did there. I sort of just hit the gas right before Get Ready disappeared. Or right after, I don't know, maybe if you guys listen to the audio, you can actually hear what I did better not know what I did. Oh, well, balls. So that's not how to do it. Um, yeah, I'm sure you guys are going to call me names for that move. Hold on. I've done far worse in my life. If I hit the... Do they call them zippers or are they boost pads in this game? I don't know. I'm going to call them boost pads. I'm probably wrong. Feel free to correct me. Feel free to be offended when I don't watch your corrections. You know, I'm doing this for fun. I was going to play this game anyway. I figured I'd share it with the world. So, I may be torturing y'all. <laughs> but, I'm enjoying myself. It's been a long time since I've played any of these games, like I said earlier. I mean, the N64 is the first console I had. And I laid the hell out of the thing. I mean, at this point, you know, between Mario Party and some other games, all of our controllers go over have everything, you know, have that broken joystick thing going on with it. And I had more than one day where I had way too many blisters on my hands from doing the spin trick for Mario Party. Which is weird, because Nintendo knew that that was breaking controllers. Oh, well. Oh, those are good times. And, you know, back then you couldn't just pop onto the internet and watch somebody play again. Back then I didn't have the internet. If I wanted cheat codes, I had to go to a library. <laughs> Libraries. Who goes to those anymore, right? I don't know what that bubble does. I think it was good I didn't hit it, but it might have been a useful thing. I really have no idea. Like I said, didn't read the manual. That might have been a good idea, right? But, you know, who reads manuals? Twitters and people who want to know what they're doing, I suppose. Man, look at those high quality 64 bit graphics. Oh, we used to be impressed looking at these things. I'm sure some of this looks a little worse because of the emulator, because I'm running at a low resolution. The frame rate's probably a little down, especially when it does those transitions. Okay, let me look to talk real quick. Okay, I haven't been quite 15 minutes. That's my plan here, spike about 15 minutes. And that way I, you know, this is the first one I did, like I said before, so I have no idea how much work it's going to be to actually put this together. For all I know, I can be recording audio now that nobody ever hears. Okay, well, didn't want to boost start there. Glad to know, unlike Mario Kart, if you hit the water, you're not, you know, sitting there waiting to get moved, but 
Yeesh, it's still brutal, isn't it? I, of course, don't know really any of these threats all well back. Man, I feel like this would be... Oh, okay. That's bad. Yeah, okay. Oh, come on. How do you back up? Okay, how do you back up? There we go. Figured it out. It's it's whatever the, my emulation for the B button is and backwards. Not like Mario Kart. Okay, well, this, okay, that's a shield. I was really hoping that was going to do something brutal to the people ahead of me that I'm never going to catch in this crash. Well, yeah, I, hope, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me suck. Because uh, that's what's happening here. Oh, come on. I'm sure it should be easier with the joystick. Or at least, you know, the gamepad. I might be investing the 360 controller or one of the... Well, I don't know what all. I might have to just buy something. Who knows? If I start having a fall. Okay, good good to know. If you hit an item, it uh, undoes your previous item. Wish I had known that. Um, yeah, that's kind of the stuff that I'm sure the game manual would have told me. But, you know, this guy doesn't read the game manual. Ooh, got him! Um, it kicked around that. That was perfect. I totally didn't want to get an item there. Um, yeah, I'm going to be lucky maybe to get fifth here. Yep. Oh, whoops, hit the oil slick. That was the one I laid down, too. I'm sure you guys will watch that again and go, what an idiot, he hit his own oil slick. Yep, this guy's an idiot. I guess those are the uh, perils of putting your failures out to the world. Yeah, 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 I didn't do very well. Let's try again. I'm sure now that I know that the boost start just, you know, put me over the table on that one. Get, catch my drift. Okay, now I start fifth? I don't remember how the grid order works on this. Is it, is it random? Where did I start last time? I wasn't paying attention. Well, that didn't work. See, so, uh, not missing the bridge this time it probably makes this easier. I'm trying to remember if you could shoot backwards in this game. I'm afraid to try it. Well, uh, it's not like it is in Mario Kart. If you can do it, I'm sure you can. I just don't know how to do it. Somebody, feel free to leave me a comment saying, hey, stupid, you shoot backwards doing whatever. And then also figure out what each of my buttons do, because like I said, I'm on a keyboard doing emulator, so one of my buttons are like it would be if I was holding a controller in my hand. Oh! Well, I'm sure the shield's more useful to me leading than a whole bunch of uh, rockets, right? Right? <laughs> I'm for that. Much better this time. See, see what happens when I don't, you know, box up the first lap and drive off the road. Yes, we're catching going out a lot. I watch way too much stuff with threats in it, so uh, I pick up some of those, you know, you know between Top Gear and uh, another member of Achievement Hunter, Mr. Gavin Free. I pick up a bit of uh, British. Some of it I'm pretty sure is made up just to make Americans look stupid, but sometimes they don't have to try. Sometimes we make ourselves look stupid. Alright, I think that's going to be the last one. I'm going to wait for this animation to get to the... I'm pretty sure these are balloons. If they're not balloons, I don't know what they are. <laughs> but, uh, get this next balloon, and then I think I'll call it a session. Drive out of here, and I'll save state, and hopefully this becomes a series, and I'll play for you guys next time. I'm taking awkward pauses, because I think I'm William Shatner. Sure, we'll go with that, right?